for New Zealand, this day makes history. The Prime Minister arrives at Government House to present His Excellency Brigadier General Patrick J. Hurley, Envoy Extraordinary and Minister Plenipotentiary from the United States of America. At this meeting, all the long words really do mean one good simple thing, friendship among friendly people. It sure does look mighty fine to us. There's no fire here, but in a minute there's going to be a whole lot of smoke. Every day the army tries out something new. This idea comes from overseas, but our own chemists have made these experimental smoke cans for the army to test. If they're approved, then we can make them in New Zealand. This sort of smoke screen is used to blanket out wide areas of ground for defensive or deception purposes. It certainly looks as if our chemists have done the job. women do not wear uniforms, yet they are part of a big army of New Zealand women. They work with the speed and efficiency of an army. They make uniforms for others. Through them, our wool becomes clothing for fighting soldiers all over the world. But they would not work as well as they do work if they didn't sometimes play. These girls are enjoying an experiment in organized play. From their factory, they were taken to a weekend camp. The war was forgotten. They had fun and fresh air. Mr. Webb was there too. He took his hat off for an apple, and William Tell shot the apple. The picnic and the games were arranged by officers of the Physical Welfare Branch, organized by the state for just this purpose. Officials watched the experiment. If successful, it would be repeated. They could see it was successful. A burlesque wrestling match was bent for high spirits. This sort of thing straightens out all the kinks from bending over benches working for war. These girls play hard, as hard as they work. When they go back, they'll work harder and do more work. Industrial fatigue reduces production figures. We have the remedy. A change, sunshine, fresh air. 